Today I'm guiding you how to make your iOS home screen setup look just like this. I'll be going through the wallpaper I use, app icons, shortcuts, and widgets. This is a tutorial and I tried to make it as easy as possible for you. All the links discussed in the video will be next to the like button in the pinned comment and you can also find it in the video's description. Hey everyone, it's Andrew and welcome back to the channel. Make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and let's get started. So the best way to start is actually to get through all the prep and then it'll make it easier once we get towards the end. So first, let's get all the apps that we need. Go to the app store and download the following apps. Clear Spaces, Widgy Widget, Shortcuts, and Not Boring Weather. I'll also be using Apple Music, but you can use any music app you want. And also a personal favorite of mine is the Uversion Bible app. The icon pack we're using is called Fluffle by Kush Jane. You get three different icon styles with each style having 120 icons and we'll be using black. The wallpaper and widget are found in the same pixel dot pack made by Serge M and we're going to be using the white wallpaper and the small widgy widget. The icons, wallpaper, and widgets are all from Gumroad and when you download them you have to save it and it'll be in a zip file. If you're not sure how to uncompress the file, all you have to do is long press on the file that you choose until you get this pop-up and select uncompress. Then all of the items in the file will be available to you for you to be able to save. Now if you're looking for free wallpapers or icon packs, it's a little bit hard to find, but for free wallpapers, you can always Google wallpapers and find something similar. Or an app that I like to use is called Unsplash. I also found a really nice icon pack that has 150 icons that are black. Not quite the same, but similar. And it's linked in the video's description as well. One last thing we're going to want to make sure we do is save all of the icons that we are going to be using as well as the wallpaper. And you can save them from the files app into your photos app. This is just going to be really easy to find what you need, especially when we start creating shortcuts. The icons that I chose from the icon pack that I'll be using for my setup are the Apple Store, Reminders, Notes, Wallet, Mail, Safari, YouTube, Apple TV, Photos, Camera, Podcasts, Maps, Music, iMessage or Messages, and Phone. And you can have freedom with whatever. There's 120 icons, so whatever you want to put in there, go ahead and just do it. Now that we have everything downloaded and saved, let's start building out the setup. All right, so now we're going to add the wallpaper. Long press on the lock screen, click the plus icon, and go to the photo section. Select your wallpaper, and I like to adjust the font, so tap on the font, and I'll make the time thick and change the color to black. Tap on add, and then customize home screen. The last thing is you want to make sure you unblur the background or if you wanna keep it blurred, that's totally fine too. Next up, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you have a clean home screen with no apps or any widgets on it at all. To do this, you'll long press on the home screen and tap on the dots at the bottom above the dock. And each screen has an option to be hidden by tapping on the check mark, or you can tap on the minus icon and remove it entirely. You can't hide every screen, so back on the home screen, we should only have one screen there. Hold down on one app icon like this, and as you continue to hold, tap on the other icons and move them to the next screen. I'll delete the widgets as well from the home screen, and then you'll long press on the home screen again, tap the dots, and hide or remove the screen with the app icons. Now it's time to go ahead and add all of our widgets. We've long pressed the home screen a lot, and now we're gonna do it again. Long press the home screen and select the plus icon at the top right. Scroll down until you find the Clear Spaces app. Tap on Clear Spaces and add the small widget size. You'll add this again two more times, so just go ahead and tap on the plus icon again. Now we can add the widget widget and choose the first small slot, then add the small widget for not boring weather. We're also going to add a widget for the Uversion Bible app. Make sure it's the small size widget and a small size widget for Apple Music. 
We should have seven widgets and now we need to merge them so we only have three widget slots. Merge the widget widget with one of the clear spaces widgets and we'll move that into first place so it's at the top left. Next, merge the not boring weather widget with a clear space widget and the last merge is going to be merging the last two widgets with the last clear space widget. Make sure to turn off smart rotate and widget suggestion for all of these widget stacks. Long press on one of them and tap edit smart stack and turn off smart rotate and widget suggestion. And on each clear space widget, just make sure you have the position set to exactly where you want it to be on the screen. We're going to keep all of our clear spaces widgets at the end of the setup to the left side. So just do top, middle, and bottom on the left. And for now, everything looks correct. We'll add the wallpaper to the clear spaces app in a bit. Last thing is going to be long press the home screen one last time, slide to the right and take a screenshot of the blank home screen that we're looking at right now. Let's take a quick break. If you need to rewind, go ahead and rewind. And while you're at it, hit that subscribe button. Now we're going to open up the clear spaces app. Tap on the plus icon once you're in there. Tap on no image set under light mode and select your wallpaper. Tap back and then go back to your home screen. Now you'll see that the widget matches the wallpaper that you have selected. If you swipe up on any of them, the other widgets are revealed. And if you swipe again, they're hidden. And I really like that. It makes it a little bit more minimal. Now we're going to go where you saved your pixel dot widget widget. I have it saved in the files app and tap on the pixel dot small widget. When you do this, it's going to automatically import it into widget. And now you should be in the widget app. You can make adjustments to this widget, but for me, I think it's fine the way it is. So there's no real adjustments that need to be made. Now you should find yourself on the create tab of widget widget, but you actually need to go ahead and tap on the manage tab. Then you're going to tap on where it says small number one, and then select the pixel dot widget. Tap add wallpaper and select the wallpaper screenshot you did a little bit ago. Tap on the check mark. You can choose the position of the widget and we're going to want to set it to the top left. Go to the home screen and the pixel dot widget will appear to match your wallpaper. I think it looks really clean. The last thing we have to do and maybe the most tedious part of all of this is creating the shortcuts. It's definitely the most aesthetically pleasing part of the setup, but it also is the most annoying part of the setup. So let's start. Open the shortcuts app, tap on the plus icon and select open app. Tap on where it says app right beside open. And this shortcut is going to open up the Apple store app. So we're just going to set it to the Apple store app. As we keep creating new shortcuts, we'll choose the app that we want to open up with each new shortcut. Tap on the drop down arrow to get a few different options. You can rename the name of the shortcut in the shortcuts app. So it just appears a little bit more uniformly and you can also give it an icon. This is only within the shortcuts app though. We actually have to do a little bit more when we're customizing it for the home screen. Now we're going to tap on add to home screen. If you don't want the app icon to have a name below it on your home screen, remove the text. Then we're going to tap on the image icon, choose a photo or file, tap choose and add, and it will automatically jump you out of shortcuts onto the home screen. And you should see the Apple store icon. And if you tap on it, it opens up the app that you chose. You'll repeat this step for all of the app icons that you want to do. So I'm only going to show the one that I did. And the only difference is going to be changing the app that you're opening and changing the icon that you want to display. The only downside to this is you won't be able to see a notification banner. So if you have like email as an option, you won't be able to see the number of emails that you have unread. And if you have an iPhone without dynamic Island, there's going to be a weird shortcuts pop up that appears and I don't know how to get it to go away. Now that we have all of our icons set and on the screen, we can adjust it exactly to the way I have it ordered on my screen. And so all the clear spaces app to the left with all of the apps on the right and then the three app icons at the bottom. And that's it. Very, very, very tedious work, but we made it. 
It's actually crazy how many hoops we have to go through in order to create a customization that looks remotely like the way we want our phone. It is what it is though, and hopefully Apple continues to give us more customization options as the years go on. If you have any customization tricks or tips that I may have not mentioned in this video, go ahead and let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this kind of video, make sure to hit subscribe. I do have some other setup videos, so you can go ahead and check those out as well. Thanks for watching everyone. As always, God bless, and I will see you on the next video.